Sexy and beautiful, and uh, I think she's a very, very good person. And I like to hit you with my fist. Ah! Uh, anyway, but anyway, uh, Raw, we kick off with uh, The Rock, the most electrified man in all sport and entertainment, as he said a promo on John Cena saying, Hell no, The Rock won't team up with John Cena. And he kept on saying, Ah, you have The Rock who was with an electrifying crowd in this generation as the Rock brings team bring it and you have John Singer bringing the Fruit Loop troops yeah. The Rock electrifying The Rock and John Cena match being built up for WrestleMania 8 28 a year in the making um uh, is it being marquee for them just to be the only headliners I believe so but hopefully we'll have some more big matches leading up to WrestleMania. Um, he very much said that he would not team up with Jackson Cena and then he looked at his tweets and how people wanted to see the Miz and R Truth get their butts kicked. And he decided, well, the rock for the people will team up with John Cena. And I think what's gonna happen is John Cena and The Rock are going to you know, they're going to win the match probably, perceivably. Or they might not. Or The Rock might turn on John Cena. But anyway, what else happened on Raw? We had Michael Cole doing his whole sneak with JR. By the way, that match or that challenge, whatever it was going to be, didn't happen. I'm kind of getting kind of uh, egged about the whole announcers being uh, wrestlers thing. I think Jim Ross is a great commentator. They need to just let him get at the booth and call matches. Michael Cole, even though he's many people don't like him, he's still a great antagonist to Jim Ross. And I think Jerry the King Lauer needs to start saying, Puppies a little bit more! But anyway, we had uh, the uh, CM Punk taking on the world's strongest man, Mark Henry, who people say I look like, and I don't see the resemblance whatsoever. I don't see the resemblance whatsoever. And then we had... Uh, a match that went back and forth. Uh, Mark Henry won surprisingly by disqualification because Alberto Del Rio's ring announcer decided to come in the ring and attack Mark Henry, hit him with a shoe, and I think he's going to get his accomplice by the world's strongest man. Uh, we had uh, Arab Boom taking on uh, Cody Rhodes and uh, Wade Bob, and it seemed like. Uh, you know, uh, you know, pretty good match. Uh, the air boom thing, I'm starting to think people are trying to get a little eager of it because, you know, neither one of these guys are good on the mic. I mean, they're great wrestlers, don't get me wrong, but it seems like it's missing. The whole tag team feel is not, they need to have, like, in my opinion, a powerhouse tag team, kind of like the way the Legion of Doom were, 
like a, a, a tag team that com, that combines force and power. And when you look at the tag team, you know that they can not only be fearless, like kind of like how Kane and the Undertaker were when they when they were doing the Brothers of Destruction thing. Even as just a separate entity, they're badass. But as a team, it's over with. And we need some dominant tag teams like that in the WWE, in my opinion. The the Usos, the Huso, Usos, who? But yeah, that was the match that happened. Uh, and uh, the match, like I said, went back and forth. And surprisingly, Way Bob and Cody Rhodes won. Uh, the next match we had up was Alberto Del Rio taking on the Big Show. This match right here, pretty much Big Show dominated the majority of the match. But Alberto Del Rio did get a lot of uh, his ups in this match. Uh, you know, working on the Big Show a little bit, uh, kicking him in the legs, you know, and doing all that good stuff. <coughs> well, a little bit of cough, because I think I say that Berto Del Rio too much. But Big Show um, pretty much knocks him out, give him one good blow across the face, he gets the win. After the match, we see CM Punk, uh, who wants them to bring back WWE ice cream bars come to the ring and uh, basically say because the stipulation in the match he had against Mark Henry was that if he lost uh, he would not be able to get a rematch against Roberto Del Rio and that was pretty much why he you know what happened what happened but with the CM Punk situation CM Punk came out there and he basically put Mr. Roberto Del Rio cause it was pretty much like this knocked out Post Ward in his face told him pretty much that uh, he's going to say yes to a rematch with him versus CM Punk. And CM Punk placed him in the Anaconda Vice. And he said, yes, 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 I I will. Uh, but yeah, that's what happened. But anyway, uh, we had another great match, if you can call it that. As Santino Marana versus Chuck Swatter. That suckery, suck it, I have but sound like the Vassar for some strange reason. But anyway, this match was not really a great match. The match was short as hell. <sighs> and like, earlier that night, uh, the Muffets the Muffets were involved in this match, which was pretty cool. I'm trying to figure out whether or not the people noticed that it was, uh, or did they probably put like uh, people in black clothes or coverings and stuff for the, through the puppetry around the ring. But yeah, Santino drunk some super juice, spit it in Jack Swagger's face, and uh, got them one, two, three. So yeah, that's what happened with that match. Uh, this match right here, Zack Ryder taking on uh, Dolph Ziggler. Uh, Zack Ryder is is really a big, 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 big fan favorite right now. Uh, he even gets his name chanted before his matches even start. So that kind of lets you know his. They were chanting for Zack Ryder during the Santino Morello match, but you can see why. But anyway, uh, yeah, so the match gets started. We, uh, you know, it, it was like, once again, a short match. It wasn't, you know, really, really, really long, and uh, it just was really short. Uh, but anyway, Zack Ryder hits the Rough Rider, one, two, three, gets the win. Now, let's talk about the main event, the main event of the evening, yeah. John Cena taking on the Miz match. This is pretty decent. Uh, John Cena got a big pop from the crowd, if you consider it was a whole bunch of booze also. Um, it's something about John Cena versus the Miz that is, uh, you know, it's pretty, pretty uh, worn down now. Uh, it was getting a lot of hype for WrestleMania, and this is, of course, the uh, WrestleMania rematch. But yeah, it was an okay match. But once again, if if you're building a match like that, the match should at least have at least at least went longer, uh, because you know they're making the Miz look like really really not strong, and this is leading up into Survivor Series. But we have our truth. Yes, he comes out in a screen mask to try to attack John Cena, and John Cena lays him out. So John Cena is, of course, standing tall, is undefeated, unstoppable. And if you have him pretty much beating the crap out of both the Miz and R-Truth, you might as well have a handicap match in Survivor Series and not even have the Rock in a match. 
because they're not seeming strong. It would be good if they could get our truth and the Miz to really look strong against John Cena. You know, attack him in the ring and just do him real bad. You know what I'm saying? I'm not really a bad, mad, mad, mad person about John Cena, but, you know, stop making him seem like he's unstoppable. You know, make him seem like he can get his ass kicked, at least. And, uh, yeah, about Kevin Nash, also I wanted to talk about Kevin Nash. Uh, Kevin Nash, man, I'm going to be real with you guys. Kevin Nash has been getting in shape. He kind of looks like he looked back in 1994. So, yeah, it's it's just... You know, just forgive that. That's my little cousin coughing right there. But anyway, tonight's Raw was a hit and miss. Uh, the Muffets being on Raw, I didn't have a problem with the Muffets because I grew up watching the Muffets series from a bunch of you guys. And uh, I just liked the, the little comedy skits they did throughout the show. So, yeah, to me, Raw was a mixed bag. But then again, the Muffets, I like the Muffets. So. But, yeah, guys, um, this is Jughead82. Signing off.